We go everywhere, we go to the moon, we, we, we do everything, but, but still we even don't know what we have here on the, on the ground. So what is living on the ground? What bacteria, what fungi? We constructed um, a filter apparatus. Uh, we constructed um, a system that we can filter water and that the particles, mostly bacteria, fungi and, and some particles, are catched, absorbed on the filter. So then we have hundreds of liters we can, we can filter here and then we have all on a filter and we extract and the DNA and we know what is on the filter, what bacteria, what fungi, what viruses, what algae. I like being in the mountains, I like being in nature. So for me it's, this is like one of the best jobs I could have, just uh, working outdoors. So I don't really mind also being a bit cold every now and then, if I'm able to see <laughs> this view while working. We do genetic analysis, but we do also cultivation. We bring the organisms directly in cultures here in the lab, so we have living cultures, and then we can study and characterize interesting metabolic pathways of these organisms. On here, on this filter, are now the, the viruses that we filtered. So what we do basically is we cut up the filter in, in smaller pieces. Basically now adding this buffer. Now I'm just going to put uh, these viruses in a room that is at 4 degrees. It's uh, just a big fridge because we want to keep them always cold. And now you would just do this uh, throughout the, the whole night and then say tomorrow all of the viruses would be in the, in the, liquid, in the part. liquid part, exactly. Basically afterwards we can use, a, there's commercial kits that are available to then extract the DNA and then you can really elute only the DNA in a little tube which you then can send to this uh, external company for sequencing. bacteria and fungi, around 1,500 isolates. So this would be around 1,200 bacteria and around 300 fungi. They come from mostly from Switzerland. Um, some are from permafrost floors and some are from the soil that is on top of the permafrost. And then, then we, we also have a few that come from a glacier environment. And then we have some other set that are not from Switzerland, but from Northern Greenland or Svalbard, so from Arctic environments. So at the moment we are screening these microorganisms for plastic degradation to see whether we have some isolates that could potentially degrade plastic. And we also screen them, for example, for antibiotic production. Here is an electronic microscope. So everything you put under the microscope will be displayed on this display. And currently on the display is a, an antibiotic test. Here on the right side you see a bacterium, which is an isolate from the biobank. And then on the left side there's a fungi growing. But here in the center we have an area where the fungi doesn't grow. And so this shows that this bacteria secretes some antibiotic that inhibits this fungi from growing.
the cold environments of the high alpine regions and also the Arctic are changing, changing drastically in the next decades because of the climate change. And when these cold environments disappear, we also have a lot of cold adapted microorganisms that can survive this new environment. And so that's why we're preserving them now, so that we have them for sure and then we can research them. The glacial ice is now hundred thousand of years old. We should know a little bit um, what is present in this glacial ice to potentially give some, to know some risk, what could happen when these unknown microorganisms are in coming contact with more temperate, more actual um, um, microorganisms.